Hey guys, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video where I'm going to be showing you guys the best settings and optimal ways to play games on GeForce Now without any error. In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys many things that other YouTubers won't tell. So make sure to watch this video till the end. There's going to be a lot of informative stuff in this video. So keep watching. First thing that I want to talk about is how everything works. As you guys know, GeForce Now is owned by NVIDIA and it's a cloud gaming platform. And since it's a cloud gaming platform, you need to have a better internet connection. And to have a better internet connection, you should have Ethernet. Now Ethernet is a wired internet connection. You can simply call your ISP and ask them to extend your Wi-Fi to an Ethernet cable. And they'll send a technician and he'll do the job for you easy peasy. But Ethernet is really, really must. And you should also have an internet connection above 20 Mbps upload and download speed. Anything below that will give you input delay, lags, stutters, and other issues. So if you have a 20 Mbps Wi-Fi and you have an Ethernet cable, you are really, really eligible to play GeForce Now. Okay, so once you have installed your GeForce Now, you'll see a simple home page like this but you have to go to the three dots over here and then click on settings. In here, you'll see the default settings applied by your PC, but you have to change that. First, your server location. If you know where you live and if you know what server you want to use, you can simply select those servers. There are a list of servers over here. If not, you can just apply a VPN and reinstall GeForce Now to get better list of servers. Now for me, I'm going to be setting this to auto because uh, I live in India and the nearest server to me keeps changing frequently. Then you have the streaming quality and for that I highly prefer you guys to go with competitive if you have somewhere around 20 Mbps internet. If you have anywhere below that simply go to custom then for best bitrate simply set it to custom and leave your internet speed down in the comments below because I'm gonna be telling you guys what bitrate you should use. Now right now I'm getting 111 ping that is because I am using a Paris VPN right now that is why I am getting 100 ms ping otherwise i'm going to be getting 200 mbps upload 200 mbps download as well as 2 ping but if you're using a vpn you should work accordingly to your vpn as you guys can see i'm having 111 ms ping so in cloud gaming i'm going to be having at least 111 milliseconds of delay then you have the download speed that doesn't really matter much you have to play with your upload speed as you guys can see i have a 50 mbps upload speed so for me a safe limit would be somewhere around 35 mbps then for resolution i highly recommend you guys to go down with 1280 by 720 then for frame rate i highly suggest you guys to use 60 fps so if you have a better internet connection and you guys can play games better on adaptive keep resync on adaptive otherwise keep it too off then a desktop poor internet connections for me as i'm using a vpn it's good for me but that will give you a blurry screen in times so if you don't want blurry screen you can turn this thing off if you want blurry screens you can turn this thing to on but if you don't get blurry screen your game will just pause on a single frame but if you have blurry screen it will still work but the screen will go blur so that's upon you if you want to use a just for poor connection that's all it does for resolution upscaling i highly suggest you guys to go with standard or a AI enhanced so AI enhanced resolution upscaling will just allow your games to be upscaled because if you're playing on low resolution and then you can use AI enhanced uh, resolution upscaling that will simply allow your game to be rendered more clearly you can just enable the detail enhancement so for me going medium AI enhanced is good but you guys can check it if that works fine for you you can use AI enhanced or simply go with standard then we also have discord rich presence over here so you can simply turn this thing off because that will just consume your internet for no use once you're done with these settings simply close your geforce now then right click on your geforce now and then go to file location in here you'll find geforce now.json file if not simply go to view and then make sure to check on hidden items then simply double click on this file and you have to search for a specific string which is named uh, IO SDL HID configurable false. You just have to turn the whole thing to true. Then simply save the GeForce Now.json and then close this. Now open up your GeForce Now and then go back to your settings. Now if you scroll down you have an option to enable direct mouse input. This is what you're looking for. Now just enable this thing if it's not turned on 
by default and now you can go into your games and play your game without any hesitations so guys that was it for today's video i hope you guys might have enjoyed it and have learned something new and if i could have helped you out make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button also leave your internet speed or internet specifications in the comments below i'm going to be replying to each one of you dedicatedly and with all that said we have reached the end of our video we'll see you guys in another video till then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out